every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? You could be the biggest sale of the year is happening right now during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda. For a limited time, make no payments for 90 days on every new Honda. That's right, you choose and make no payments for 90 days at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Segan Lane. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Welcome as we start the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Here's hoping all is well with you and yours and your little bitty slice of South Louisiana heaven since the last opportunity we had to spend some time with you at the end of last week. We start today's show as we typically do with Louisiana news and a very, very tragic story. In Independence, Louisiana, the small neighborhood of Deer Trail Lakes, neighborhood there, mobile home neighborhood with a small pond right in the middle of the neighborhood, mourning the tragic drowning deaths of two brothers, ages nine and six years old. It is, from all accounts, a very tight-knit neighborhood. So as you might imagine, this was particularly disturbing for the residents there. It goes without saying that I'm sure this family would appreciate nothing more than you keeping them in your thoughts and your prayers. And if you would, having gone through an incident recently, I feel compelled to also ask that you be so kind as to keep those first responders in your thoughts and prayers. We, as ordinary citizens, don't often take time to think about what our first responders are subjected to on a daily basis. And if you are so fortunate as to never having been exposed to something of this nature, number one, count your blessings. Number two, think about the caliber of individual that it takes to entertain this as an occupation on a daily basis. Again, having gone through something that required an emergency response recently, I have a brand new appreciation for the jobs that these men and women do on a daily basis. Most of us on our best days are not built to handle what they handle regularly. And it goes without saying that we owe them a sincere debt of gratitude. And again, I hope that you will keep them both in your thoughts and in your prayers. In other Louisiana news, here in the capital city particularly, I, I guess this really should not come as a big surprise. You probably are aware of the story recently where 34-year-old Brittany Banks, along with her two children, viciously attacked a school bus driver after 
the 13-year-old girl got into a verbal altercation with the bus driver. As you well know, there are cameras everywhere these days on school buses and of course all the students pretty much have a cell phone and at a moment's notice they whip it out and start shooting video. Well the two children have been arrested. The 34 year old mother was supposed to turn herself into police last week but did not. News media did a little digging and found out that 34-year-old Brittany Banks has been in and out of the legal system over and over and over again over the last 15 years. Charges range from aggravated battery to simple assault, public intimidation, theft, forgery, and drug counts linked to oxycodone and ecstasy. Ironically, she was on probation, a two-year probation, in January. Three months later, she is now, once again, facing charges of battery, this time on a school bus driver. I went through the arrest records that were published. This 34-year-old woman has been arrested 28 times in 15 years. You heard me correct. 28 times in 15 years and only 34 years of age. We will keep an eye on this case to see if and when she turns herself in or is found and arrested. But my dear friend and floor producer extraordinaire, Marty, reminded me this morning that maybe she was just attempting to claim the crown. I was not aware, but apparently there is, a trophy, an award, a crown, a title, whatever, for the individual in Louisiana that can rack up the most arrests within a certain time frame. Laplace, Louisiana, in St. John the Baptist Parish, there is a 57-year-old man there. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, y'all. 57 year old Ulysses Joseph has been arrested 56 times for various offenses including failure to appear for traffic violations theft and other charges 56 times since 1984 now listen, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all know your buddy Clarence. I am all for a person having second chances in life. I mean, if you are a member of the community of faith, you are well familiar with the saying, "There, but by the grace of God, go I." Could be any one of us, except for the grace of God, we don't find ourselves in that position. But you have to wonder, at what point does the light come on? At what point does someone, family member, loved one, friend, whomever, at what point do you pull that person aside and say, look, bruh, I don't, you know, want to get all in your business or anything, but this is 50 some times you've been arrested. Maybe it's time you find another line of work. At what point in an individual's life does the light come on and the person say, you know, I'm not very good at this criminal thing. 
maybe I need to find another line of work. Of course, now, at 57 years of age, having been arrested 56 times since 1984 in the parish, God only knows how many other arrests may be there from outside the parish. At what point does the person say, uh, it's time for a change because this isn't working out for me. This is not working out for me. It's a tragedy that there's no one close enough to this individual, apparently, that cares enough to pull that person to the side and have a serious heart to heart about their path in life. It is something that most of us cannot begin to fathom. It's just a sad commentary. And I guess at 57 years of age, it's kind of unreasonable to think that the person's going to change at this point. I am one of those that's, that's of the opinion it's never too late for you to change your path in life. It's never too late. But at 57, having been arrested 56 times since 1984, the hope is diminishing rapidly. Hopefully, there is someone out there that cares enough about this 56-year-old and this 34-year-old Baton Rouge woman that can sit them down and reach them so that they have the opportunity to boast. Look how I turned my life around before all is said and done. First break of today's show. When we come back, segment two, it is Tuesday, so you know what that means, right? Yep, time for another edition of now, that's just stupid. That's next. When we continue the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Gallagher, this is Roy Fletcher. We hope you'll join us for Fletch Nation, especially if you like talking politics. Hey, come and join us. We'll give you the information, and then we'll give you the context. We and hit, by the way, we'll give you fun, too. Uh, lots of fun. We hit the local races, the state, we even look at what's going on all across America. And by the way, this space is available. If you'd like to talk about advertising, send your emails to Roy Fletcher at RoyFletcher.com and join us every week here on the Pelican for Fletch Nation. <laughs> I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. Thank <laughs> you. 
The season of inspiration is the perfect time to discover the enhanced Mazda CX-5. Named a 2022 IIHS Safety Pick Plus Award winner, its highest safety award honor. Choose from over 45 CX-5s available at Baton Rouge's Mazda dealer, Team Mazda on Airline. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Second segment every Tuesday we dedicate to the level of stupidity that seems to be overtaking our country day by day, week by week, month by month. The graphic on screen, however, shows you we're not just talking about regular, ordinary, everyday stupid. The level of stupid we're talking about here requires a new word with its own spelling, S-T-O-O-P-I-D, as in, now that's just stupid. We start in a place where we knew it probably wouldn't be long. We were hoping maybe because of her past experience Maybe it won't happen, or when it does, maybe it won't be that big. <laughs> Didn't take long. Brittany Griner of WNBA fame slash arrested and put in prison in Russia for violating their drug laws came out this week and said, it's a crime to stop men from playing in female sports leagues. You would like to think with what she has been through that she would be the last person on the planet to come out with something this stupid. But you'd be wrong. <laughs> Once again, you'd be wrong. If there's anybody on the planet you would think would want to stay below the radar, it would be Brittany Griner. But no, you would be so wrong. You know, it's amazing to me how we get duped into certain things. Remember all the outcry? Oh, we got to get her out. We got to bring her home. Despite the fact that we all know how she feels about America. Then we go and trade her for the merchant of death. A convicted international arms dealer who's responsible for countless deaths all across the planet, we trade this guy for her. Didn't take long for her to justify that trade, did it? It's a crime not to let men play in women's sports. S-T-O-O-P-I-D. Stool bit. This next one, I don't know what it is more or if it's equal shares, stupid 
or insulting. Actually, I should have said stupid and or insulting. Because if you've been paying attention at all, you know that what we were just told is not only stupid, but it's a lie. Of course, now, this also tells us where they think they have us. We are so busy these days with our mobile devices that the minute we step outside, our head is down in our phone. Not a whole lot of you look up anymore. So many people last week saw it and didn't give a second thought to it. When the White House announced, we're going to start studying the feasibility of spraying stuff in the atmosphere to try and combat climate change. Excuse me? Yeah, we go, um, we, we think it might be possible that we could use airplanes and we could spray some stuff in the skies that would reflect the sun's radiation and help us combat climate change. Y'all do realize, do you not? They have been spraying this crap that they are talking about. We're going to study to see if it's feasible. They've been doing this for decades. Of course, now, y'all don't look up anymore because you're too busy with your head stuck in your phone while you're outside. They have been spraying us for decades. All you got to do is look up. You'll see the white lines in a grid pattern, crisscrossing the sky. And you come back a little bit later. And what was one thin line has now expanded and covered the whole freaking sky. But we're not going to spray anything. We're going to study if it would be feasible to do this. Here's your homework. Don't use Google. Use another search engine and look up geo engineering G E O engineering one word look up geo engineering and start looking up after planes spray this stuff that the White House says we're not gonna spray we're just gonna study it after it's done any number of environmental groups have gone on to study the air, the water, and the ground underneath the stuff that they've been spraying us with. They have found seriously elevated levels of barium, sulfur dioxide, aluminum, and the likes. It's in our water, it's in our air, it's in the soil. Because as you well know, what goes up must come down. So the fish we eat from the waters we catch, it's got that crap in it. The food we eat, grown in the ground, contaminated with this crap, we eat. And of course, we breathe it in the air. But the White House, by golly, comes out and tells us, uh, we're going to study if it would be feasible to spray some stuff in the air and see if we can't help fight climate change. Those of us that have ears to hear and eyes to see, we've been looking at it for decades now. But the White House is so sure that so many of y'all 
When you go outside, this is all you do. Scrolling, scrolling, texting. They're so sure you never look up. These idiots will never know what we're doing. But then to come out and say, well, we're not going to do it. We're studying whether or not it would be feasible when we see it all the freaking time is so insulting. It defies description. If I were to describe it, I'd say that's just plain old stupid. Now, you know what else is stupid, don't you? Approaching end of life and not having made your final arrangements. That's where the newest sponsor of the Clarence Bugs Show, the great folks at Dignity Memorial, can help. You might be thinking, well, I served in the military, so all of my stuff is automatically going to be taken care of. That's not the case, y'all. And Dignity Memorial knows this. They work with over 2,000 funeral homes all across the country. So they know the ins and the outs. They know how to walk you through the process. They know how to get you all of the benefits that your loved one that served deserves. I found out something else not too long ago. And this told me. What a great corporate partner Dignity Memorial happens to be. Lee Selden and his darling wife, Gretchen, if you get a prepaid funeral plan with Dignity Memorial, let's say it's for $10,000. Average cost of a funeral is around nine, 10 grand. God forbid, if you've purchased that prepaid plan, and your minor child, a child under the age of 21, happens, God forbid, to get killed, they will give your child that same $10,000 funeral free of charge. That's a good corporate neighbor. That's someone who has dedicated themselves to helping us deal with the period of grief. There's nothing worse than losing a treasured loved one, except losing that treasured loved one. And they've not made their arrangements ahead of time. Listen, y'all, this is something that is totally beyond our control. We all know in life there are things that are beyond our control. This should not be one of them. Give Lee a call. Give Gretchen a call. They would love to talk to you. They're people persons. They know what we're dealing with when it comes to grief. And they can make that period so much easier. The only question now is, what are you waiting on? Listen, I know it's not comfortable, but just imagine having to deal with it without this already being in place. Give them a call. Get that peace of mind and move on with your life. Understanding all of this is already taken care of. I'd consider it a personal favor. When you call Lee, when you talk to Gretchen, let him know that you heard about him right here on the Clarence Bug Show. Bottom of the hour break. We'll get this done when we come back just when you thought it couldn't get any more outrageous? Along comes Corrine Jean-Pierre. That's next when we continue the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com You could be driving a Now's the time to save on new Accords during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda of Acadiana. Get our lowest prices and biggest savings on our largest selection of Accords this year. Hurry in and save during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda of Acadiana. I-49 just south of Opelousas. 
Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugé Jr. and I am a general dentist at Frugé Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Caught spiders. Premier Pest Services. Welcome back to the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. I guess um, when you are an elected official, particularly in a major city, and you spend your time up to the time for you to depart towing the party line at some point reality has to set in for example Lori Lightfoot outgoing mayor in Chicago Illinois towed the party line like a real good Democrat for years. But now that she's been voted out of office, things are starting to change a little bit. Did you see recently where she actually had the nerve to put the blame on crime in Chicago where it actually belongs? <gasps> Do tell. She finally fessed up and put the blame where it goes. She also recently sent a letter to Governor Greg Abbott of Texas asking him to please stop sending all these illegal immigrants to our city. Quote, we've not heard anything back and quite frankly, I didn't expect to hear anything back, but I felt it was important to once again try to engage the governor, but also let him know what his policies and practices are doing in cities like Chicago. We are completely tapped out. We have no more space, no more resources, and frankly, we're already in a surge. Now, first of all, Mayor Lightfoot, it is not Governor Abbott's policies that are causing problems in Chicago. Those problems are caused by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and their immigration 
policies. That's where the problem comes from, not from Texas. Texas is simply the point of origin where they all walk across our border illegally, and he simply sends them to other places. Are you starting to notice a pattern here? New York Mayor Eric Adams, roughly a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago, cried foul as well. It's running our city in the ground. We, we don't have the resources for this. So what do you think it's like in Texas? But now, just when you thought it had gotten bad, we now find out that apparently all of this is just a figment of your imagination. This isn't really happening because, as we all know, things are not what they appear to be. New York City saying, please, y'all stop sending these people here. We don't have the resources. We don't have the space. It's, it's, it's killing our city. In Chicago, we're all tapped out. We have no more resources. It's, 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 it's killing our budget. But now, wait a minute. Let's understand something here. Just this week, White House spokesperson, Corrine Jean-Pierre, came out and said, <laughs> illegal immigration is down 90% thanks to the policies of Joe Biden. You heard me right. Millions upon millions of people entering the country illegally. And the spokesperson for the White House says, well, illegal immigration is down 90%. Of course, now, this is the same spokesperson that not so very long ago after it was announced that last year over 107,000 of our fellow Americans died from a fentanyl related opioid overdose she is the same one who with a straight face in front of all the White House press corps, said that fentanyl was at historic low levels in America. You see what these people think of us? Well, what they think of you, I already know. For her to get up with a straight face and say, well, I don't know what these people are talking about. Illegal immigration is down 90% thanks to the policies of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. We're not talking about the gotaways. We're talking about just the people that have been apprehended at the border. And you would tell us illegal immigration is down 90%? You know, at some point, I would like to think if there was any sanity left in this country, that it would be Democrats that would be the most outraged. See, us conservatives, we already knew ahead of time, and we tried to tell you, if you put Joe Biden in the White House, here's what you can expect. Donald Trump, love him or hate him, laid it out. You can expect the economy to crash. You can expect inflation to go through the roof. You can expect illegal immigration 
at levels you've never seen in your lifetime. And every single one of these things has happened. That plus supply chain crisis, the head of the Federal Department of Education cannot tell you what a woman is. Heck, for that matter, we now have, courtesy of Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and the Democrats, the first <laughs> woman on the Supreme Court that can't define what a woman is. At some point, if I, God forbid, if I were a Democrat, I would have to call my own people on the carpet and say, look, y'all, enough's enough. Enough's enough. We have still ongoing a baby formula crisis. Meanwhile, in our schools, we have entire school systems that are not just hell bent, but are actively teaching your son that he can be your daughter. At some point, <laughs> even Democrats have to realize how insane this administration's policies are. Now, if you are a Democrat and you are dissatisfied, and I know there's a lot of you because the latest poll I saw, upwards of 70% of Americans say, my God, our country's headed in the wrong direction. If you're a Democrat, please understand something. The current administration does not care what conservatives think. It's obvious. Just look at their policies. But if you, as a loyal Democrat, don't believe that your son can be your daughter, you need to step up and say something. If you, as a loyal Democrat, see over 107,000 of your fellow Americans dying from a fentanyl-related opioid overdose and the White House telling you, well, it's at historic low levels in our country, you need to step up and say something. I know the media and those on the left have brainwashed you into thinking, well, I can't go against what my party's doing because I won't be a loyal Democrat. I simply ask you this. How's that working out for this country? At the end of the day, put your party affiliation aside. Let's forget for just a moment that there are Democrats, independents, and Republicans. Let's forget about the fact that there are liberals, conservatives, and middle-of-the-road folk. Let's, let's forget about all of that stuff and simply look at the state of our nation. I ask again, how is this working out for us? And the only way, well, actually, now that I think about it, there are two ways. One is you stand up as a loyal Democrat and voice your displeasure at the direction our country is headed in and or, number two, vote these clowns out. If you're happy sending your child to school and having your child come back home and announce to you that I was taught today that even though I'm a biological male, I can be a female if I want. If you're happy with that, then by all means, keep your mouth shut. But if you are a part of the millions and millions and millions of Americans who are of the opinion, our country's going down the freaking toilet. Maybe it's that way 
because you refuse to say something. Just an observation. Final break of today's show. We'll get her done, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy, and we wrap up the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremontese.com. Sometimes life is wonderful. And sometimes it's not. Cherish the good. But always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private Healthcare is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back to the final segment of the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. If um, you have managed to go through life up until this point and not had to entertain a family member, loved one, spouse, what have you, that is going through dementia, early stages of Alzheimer's, count your blessings. Those of us that have had the opportunity to deal with that very debilitating disease understand what it does to an individual and what it does 
to people close to and around those individuals. If you've ever dealt with someone in the throes of dementia, you know full well from day to day, hour to hour, sometimes minute to minute, you know full well that the situation can change just like that. They can go from being totally lucid and coherent to lost in space. It pains me greatly to say that is where we now find the leader of the free world. Privately, White House aides have started expressing concern about Joe Biden's mental status. Have you noticed something? The White House has stopped scheduling events, public events for the president before 10 in the morning and after 6 o'clock in the evening. Now, those of us who have dealt with individuals, God bless them, in the throes of Alzheimer's and the latter stages of dementia, we know these are the trouble times, the particularly tough times for these individuals. Early in the morning, late in the evening. As a result, so far this year, the White House has scheduled only four public events for the president to take part in before 10 in the morning. Only a dozen public events for the president after 6 o'clock in the evening. There's also been 12 full weekends without any public appearances by the leader of the free world. I would say it's obvious there's something going on here. But all you have to do is open your eyes and look. If you have any experience whatsoever with an individual in the throes of dementia, you can see it in Joe Biden's eyes. Never mind his actions. What, what's the old adage? The eyes are the window to the soul. Look at people like and I'm not equating Joe Biden with these people. It, it's just an observation. You look at the likes of Ted Bundy and others. If you are a student of humanity, you can look in their eyes and see the evil. You, with experience, can look in the eyes of individuals and know what lies within their soul. Joe Biden, bless his little old heart, is not all there. But this is scary, y'all, when you cannot or will not schedule public events before 10 o'clock in the morning or after 6 o'clock in the evening, those of us that love this country find ourselves praying at night, oh God, please don't let anything disastrous happen between now and 10 o'clock in the morning because the leader of the free world will not be equipped to handle it or even address it. And you know, you have to ask yourself, 
Did y'all see the, the recent ceremony at the White House with the Air Force Academy's football team? Every year, the Commander-in-Chief trophy is awarded to the winner. And this year, Air Force Academy shows up. Joe Biden has the Commander-in-Chief trophy. And like any, you know, good team visiting would do, they had some mementos for the president. A signed football, a helmet, and a jersey. So they present this to the president. He takes the jersey, leaves the football and the helmet, and walks off. And you can see in the video, the members of the team are looking at each other and looking around the room as in, what the hell is he doing? And more important, what are we supposed to do? You just left us up here. Remember the White House staff having to get the Easter Bunny to go and rescue the president at the White House egg roll on the lawn? Remember watching him shake hands with imaginary people in the air on stage? And a thinking person watching this since Inauguration Day would have to ask, how long did they know about this? You mean to tell me, oh, wait, maybe that's why we didn't see him on the campaign trail. Maybe that's why they hid him in the basement. Maybe that's why. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know the answer. You don't need me to tell you. They knew full well all along. And they conned you. 81 million of y'all, wink, wink, to vote for this man. And look where we are now. I hope you remember this the next time you get to vote for president. That being said, my time's up and I got to go. But you already know the drill. This day, <laughs> definitely more so than any other, I'll give it to you. You're 100% correct. America, we are not perfect. But for this old boy's money, it's the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you know he loves you. And you know I do too. You also know there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. We'll see you soon. God bless. <laughs>